Hello and welcome to Draw It and Know It. I'm cartoonist Dan Letha for Reasons for Hope. And today we are going to do the art lesson edition. And our art lesson is going to be about a very slow animal called the sloth. I love sloths, so let's get drawing. All right, today I'm going to do my digital drawing board. And I'm going to start out with a blue line. So you can use a pencil to draw the light lines. And then afterwards, I'm going to draw with a black line. So you can use a marker or a pen to draw those lines. So our first lines are going to be the, the tree branch that this sloth is going to hang from. So start about where I am and see if you can match these lines on your paper. And so there's the tree branch that our friend the sloth is going to hang from. Now we're going to draw kind of a big sloping droopy line there to kind of give us an idea of where the sloth is going to live inside that, inside that guideline. Okay. So again, we're sketching out the sloth lines. We're actually going to draw pretty much almost all the sloth with our sketch lines. And then we're going to ink over the top of these, uh, these pencil lines. So I'm drawing lines now for the, the legs and the arms. So we know about where those are going to go. And, um, and then we're going to draw more of the leg there to fill in and where it grips uh, over the top of the branch. And then we're going to figure out the width of this other leg. That's kind of behind the back leg that's behind. And we're going to draw that line there. And then we're going to show where it's um, <clears throat> claws are kind of coming over the top. Now the sloth we're drawing today is a three toed sloth. And um, again, that's where the, the, the arm is going over the top there. And then this one has kind of a bend at the elbow that I don't show on the other ones. Okay. So we've got an idea where that one is gripping over the top of the branch. There's the width of the arm. And we're going to draw a line there. We're going to draw another line there. And then we're going to draw over the top there too. And what's the difference between a three toed sloth and a two toed sloth? Well, actually the difference is the claws on the front. So where their hand, what we, we would call hands, the two toed sloth has two claws and the three toed sloth has three claws on where its hands are. And that sounds kind of funny because they call it toes, but anyway. So here I've drawn some guidelines on the head for where the eyes are in the center of the face. And so now we're drawing the eyes and then we're going to draw the nose really close to where the eyes are. So you draw the top and then you finish the bottom of the nose. And then after that, I think we're about ready to draw, get, uh, get our marker out. So. I want you to get your marker and uh, now we're going to ink over the top of the lines for the sloth, our sketch guidelines that we've drawn. And um, this is very important because we're going to draw some fur. And so we're going to use our guidelines to help us know where the direction of the line is going, but we're going to do some zigzags to kind of give an idea of fur. So follow some of the lines and then stop and do some zigzags and your zigzags don't have to be the same exact you know, zigzag as I do, but just put an indication of this is a furry little guy. And um, so we've got the form kind of figured out with our sketch lines. And now we're going to draw some some fur. OK, and now here's our, his claw. So we kind of draw a point, almost sort of a triangle sort of thing. And then inside, I'm making the line a little thinner. And we draw two lines inside. So he has a total of three claws in the front. Again, this is our three toed sloth. Now the back line and again, the zigzag for the fur. And then you can follow the line along and then just pick where you want to do some zigzag, make the, make the fur indication. Draw the other side of the leg. And then we're going to draw the back leg, the one that's sort of behind. You see less of this leg. And then we're going to draw the belly line. And now we're going to go back up to the claw and much the same as the front one, sort of a triangle pointed thing there that rounds off on top and then draw inside two lines. And then you have a total of three toes. All right, now we're going to finish off the branch and uh, sloths 
move very, very slowly. God designed them to move slow. Can you think of some fast animals? Like the cheetah, one of my favorite, favorite animals, moves very, very fast. The peregrine falcon, uh, I think that's the fastest animal that there is as it flies really fast. And the sloth, God designed to be very, very slow. And that's that gives the uh, sloth some advantages too in this fallen world that we live in because um, he can be hard to find because he moves so slow. So predators have a hard time spotting the sloth because they don't move very fast. All right, so now we're drawing in the eyes. We've drawn in the uh, the brow line that's gonna, it's more of an indication for color. I'm le leaving a little dot inside the, the eyes to give a, a reflection. Draw the top of the nose and then follow down and up for the bottom of the nose. And two little nostrils. Now the mouth of the sloth is pretty close to the bottom of the nose. And so then we're going to draw that and then oop, up goes the corners of the mouth. Kind of looks like he's smiling a little bit. And um, and then there's a, a pattern around the eyes of the of the sloth, sort of kind of like a raccoon, sort of. And so we're going to draw an indication of where that darker coloration is around the sloth's eyes. All right. And then later on, after this is finished, you guys can color it in. Maybe look up some sloth and see what colors sloths are. And uh, then there's a coloration around the mouth too. So we're drawing some lines to show where that darker area of coloration is. Again, some zigzag lines for the top of the top of the head. Show he's got some furry top of the head and then bottom of the, the head. So kind of a furry chin too. And now we're gonna draw some shadows. The, the sloth is hanging from a, a tree branch and so that's gonna cast some shadows um, where, he, uh, where he is on the, the branch as far as his arms go. And then that helps make it look like there's a little bit more dimension to our drawing. So think about where the sunlight's coming from and where the shadow's hitting the branches. And, um, and there we have it. We have our three-toed sloth. Now he's a pretty happy little guy. And you know, the Bible talks about sloth. Um, it mentions the word sloth, some versions of the Bible. In fact, uh, a verse that I wanted to point out to you today is Ecclesiastes 10, 18, which says... Through sloth, the roof sinks in, and through indolence, the house leaks. Now, this sloth that the Bible talks about is not the sloth that we have in the, uh, in the forests and jungles of Central and South America. This sloth is a bit different. And I want you to think about the word sloth. In the Bible, it means lazy. Indolence means lazy. So those are two words that kind of mean the same thing. And... Um, we use that sometimes when we think about sloths because the sloth animal moves so slow. We think of him sometimes as lazy, although this animal is not. It's doing exactly what God designed it to do, and, and it moves slow because God designed it to be that way. But when people look at us, and if we're just laying around and we're not doing anything, and we, they think of sloths when they see us not doing anything, that's not good. And God doesn't want us to look like a sloth. He wants us to look like busy people that are working hard and having purpose and, and accomplishing things. And so when you see a sloth on TV or in the news or, or whatever it is, just remind yourself that, okay, God made the sloth to be that way. He didn't make me to be that way. I need to be busy and productive and glorifying God with the talents and abilities that he's given me and opportunities. So... Thank God that he made sloths slow. He did that on purpose. And he didn't design you that way. So, thanks for drawing with me today. I hope you were blessed by this. And have a great day.